Corey Stewart is now running for the U.S. Senate. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox has the story from Woodbridge. That's where Stewart announced his candidacy. Corey Stewart surprised everyone last month when he almost beat Ed Gillespie for the Republican nomination for governor. And today, in his typical firebrand way, he announced he's running for the United States Senate, challenging Senator Tim Kaine. I'm going to run the most vicious, ruthless campaign to dethrone Tim Kaine from the United States Senate. Senator Tim Kaine, who was Hillary Clinton's running mate, was a popular governor in Virginia before winning the Senate seat. It's time that we have a United States senator who's going to support the president, not try to obstruct his way. Kaine has been a staunch supporter of the Trump-Russia investigation. It's insinuating that somehow is, you know, the president's family's been involved in some sort of Russian intrigue and all well, this other stuff. there's an FBI stuff. investigation. You think that's it, a witch hunt? I think it is a witch hunt. I think that uh, this is just an attempt to try to stymie the, the president's agenda. Like Trump, Stewart is a master of blunt talk and political stunts, like giving away an AR-15 during his campaign and holding a protest to keep Confederate monuments standing. You know, he ran as a, a white supremacist. Harry Wiggins, the chair of the Democratic Party in Prince William County, says he's not surprised Corey Stewart is planning to run a vicious, ruthless campaign. He's not mainstream. He's negative. He's always been negative. He's done a lousy job as chairman of the County Board of Supervisors. He's never there. Uh, you know, he's been running for governor for a year. Now he's going to run for Senate for a year. He totally ignores Prince William County. Before Corey Stewart runs his vicious and ruthless campaign against Senator Tim Kaine, he'll most likely have to run against other Republicans for the nomination. In Northern Virginia, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.